In this tutorial, you will know how to design a corporate letterhead using Adobe Illustrator. First of all, let's open up a new document and set the dimensions of the document. From the drop-down menu next to Size, select the Letter option. You can see that the dimensions automatically change to 8.5 inches for the width and 11 inches for the height. Remember to set the bleed size to 0.125 inches for all the four sides. With that done, click on OK and the new document will open up. Now let's draw margins of 0.5 inches from all sides of the document. A corporate letterhead must have a logo for the company, name of the company, and the complete contact details. You can add some design elements to make it look a bit more attractive. Over here, let's copy the logo of the company and place it to the top left corner of the document. Remember to place it inside the margin lines. Now let's copy the name of the company and place it below the logo. Now you can position them accordingly on the document. With that done, let's use the type tool to insert the contact details of the company. Over here, we will use Garamond for the font, keeping the font size at 12 point. With that done, left align the text and set the leading to 18 point. Now let's place the text box to the top right corner of the document. Remember that the text should be inside the margin lines and make sure both the text and the company logo align with each other perfectly. Now let's use the pen tool to draw a straight vertical line just beside the contact details. The line should not extend the height of the text box. Once done, select both the text box and the line and change the color to 7B808A. Now we will add a little design element to this letterhead. Use the rectangle tool to draw small boxes overlapping one over the other and fill each of them with different colors to create a colorful spectrum line. Make sure that whatever color you are using should be within the theme of the logo, or at least complement the logo for that matter. Once done, place the spectrum line at the bottom below the margin line. It doesn't really matter if it exceeds the bleed area over here. In the end, we will use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle the same size as that of the artboard with no fill for the color. Go to the Object menu and select the Create Trim Marks option. Trim marks will appear at all the edges of the document. The letterhead is now ready for printing.